Hi, this is Shadi and welcome back to another Octagon analysis and in this video I'm gonna be taking on a very promising talent, a young man with a lot of career potential and a bright future in the MMA and fighting in general. He is Islam Makachev. Now whenever we say that name we immediately associate him with Khabib Nurmagomedov. However, his fighting style, whether it is striking, grappling, the takedowns, it is far more graceful in my opinion. Khabib is like hitting the hammer uh, right on the nail, while uh, Islam is far more graceful. His technique is a bit more aesthetic, in my opinion, uh, far more suited uh, or uh, judo-like technique. So, let's begin. So the first technique that we're going to be taking a look at is the Morotegari. Here he's performing the single leg takedown, spinning out, uh, not explosively going down and shooting up, far different than Khabib. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Morotegari is reaping with both hands. So it can be anything. It can be the double leg, the single leg, a body lock, takedown. Uh, all of it can, can be considered Morotegari because you are technically reaping with both hands. So uh, the beauty about Judo is uh, any technique can have multiple variations. However, uh, saying this, a slight uh, detail change can take you to a whole nother technique and we're going to see that uh, in, the, in the rest of this episode. So uh, Islam's uh, single leg is very graceful and uh, again effortless almost. Uh, the opponent falls down almost immediately is very similar to Andre Galvao's style of takedowns uh, very calculated it's not wrestling it is grappling oriented uh, not so much slamming someone as you see here in these old uh, judo footage so again the Morotegari can be the single leg as you see here the double leg and a body lock slam forward uh, it's very different and we're gonna see as we go on the rest of this episode so the next technique is the Ashi Guruma. Uh, one might mistake it for Haragoshi or even Osotogari, but uh, Ashi Guruma is when you are particularly left versus right uh, scenario and you like block the leg that's behind and you take your opponent to their side, not forward and not backward. This is Ashi Guruma. Ashi Guruma is when you spin your opponent around your leg and to their side different from Osotogari, Haragoshi and even Oguruma. So Islam is clearly performing a Ashi Guruma. We're gonna see Haragoshi and spot the difference. So here, this is Haragoshi. You land, you lift them with your hips, sweep the leg backward and you take them down forward, different than the Ashi Guruma where you land on your side. Let's check out the Haragoshi. Here it's in Nage no Kata, very similar to what Islam did. Uh, look, he's transitioning to an underhook rather than like a lapel grab, uh, blocking with the hips, lifting and sweeping, and the opponent falls uh, straight forward, different from the Ashi Guruma where they fall to the side. So, as I mentioned, you can have multiple variation in the same technique, like Kata Ashi Hishigi can be the straight ankle lock and also the heel hook or you can just change the direction of the throw and it becomes a different technique altogether. This is the beauty of Judo and the beauty of learning uh, terminologies and increasing your overall technical culture and knowledge. The next technique that we're going to be taking a look at is the Ude Hishigi Jujigatame or the elbow crush across hold. That's what literally translates to and it's a classic Judo piece. Uh, the armbar we call it, uh, Islam definitely uh, does it, it's any grappler, like a submission style grappler would know what an armbar is, you can, ha you can catch it from any position, the guard, the mount, the belly down, uh, from even from back mount, uh, it's a classic judo submission and here it translates to the octagon perfectly. As I've mentioned time and time again, the basics will take you a very long way here almost having like a triangle lock uh, doing like a hook sweep and transitioning to an armbar from the guard into uh, 
back like uh, kind of like taking your opponent on their back sweeping them and finishing the armbar you can get it as i mentioned from uh, a slew of positions mount back mount uh, side control uh, climbing from neon belly and getting the armbar so as i mentioned ude hishigi shuji gatame it's nice to know the terminology of techniques uh, so you can get it even from the uh, like the guard you can get uh, a few variations of it you can hear almost like tilt and have like a shoulder uh, pin uh, as if you're locking a triangle and then switching to an armbar which uh, will prevent your opponent from stacking you and you can just do like the very basic white belt perpendicular uh, shift of uh, like body weight or body shape and then go for the armbar let's see it here so here you can see that you are going uh, perpendicular locking and then hooking hook sweeping and then going for the juji gatame so uh, as i've mentioned um, multiple variations to the same technique can be found in judo and also the terminology is extremely uh, important Here, more harai goshi. Uh, here is the hadaka jime or the rear naked choke. Again, multiple variations to it. A classic judo a choke. Here you can see where you clasp your hands together, similar to what uh, Khabib did against Connor, but uh, Con uh, Khabib locked the jaw and turned it into like a neck crank slash uh, choke. Here you can see the one used in no gi grappling and MMA. Uh, the most efficient one here you can get it from back mount locking hooking your legs and getting it um, again multiple variations to the same technique here from the turtle position you open up and lock your hands together and get it uh, all is still considered hadaka jime or rear naked choke here you can see when someone is going from a north south position you can prevent them by putting uh, your forearm on their throat and your leg up their back of the neck and connecting them and squeezing in order to get and finish the choke this is also considered hadaka jime you don't want to be in this position uh, let's see it from another angle he locked it and finishing the choke attempting a north south and ending up in a rear naked choke which is a funny thing to say uh, knowing that uh, the rear naked choke is only known as the one you see in UFC however it is different here is the Harai Tsurikomiyashi lifting pulling and sweeping Be lands beautifully in the mount let's see it beautiful sweep forward now one might mistake it for Sasai Tsurikomiyashi the one that uh, Fedor does but there is a difference as I've mentioned in judo the slight change of technique can uh, be a different technique here let's see Harai Tsurikomiyashi you lift and pull and sweep the leg forward as if you are shooting like a passing a uh, doing a pass in soccer here you see you lift you go forward you almost uh, may make complete contact you lift you pull and you sweep forward you kick the leg backward and the one that's retreating you sweep it backwards you continue the motion let's see the difference between Fedor Sasai and the Harai Tsuri Komiyashi so the Sasai is when you block your foot you, you both lift and pull but one is you block creating a wheel motion and creating the takedown while the other one is you lift you pull and you sweep forward this is the difference the Sasai is blocking and Harai is sweeping in Japanese is the sasa Sasayuru and the Harayagiru motion uh, again terminology is crucial when discussing techniques I think you get the difference now here you see one is like blocking the ankle and the other is sweeping the ankle forward let's see it again he has like underhook and overhook he is clearly sweeping and lands beautifully in the mount I've never seen something so graceful in MMA as this one uh, beautiful technique again different from Khabib altogether and speaking of the mount it's called the Tate Shiho Gatame uh, you can get it with like an arm triangle you can get it by hugging both arms or pinning them down multiple variation it's all still considered uh, mount 
uh, again this is the paradox of judo a little details such as blocking or sweeping can create a different technique but also here choking with an arm triangle while mounting and also just doing a simple mount is all still considered tate shiho uh, gatame this is what's uh, here you, you uh, kind of like hug your opponent's head and arms different from the arm triangle but it is still considered tate shiho gatame this is the beauty of judo it is uh, as kano said it like uh, an education from all sorts of aspects and this is what i like to do, why i like to do these analyses all together so i figured i put something uh a bit different in this one here doing the double leg it's still considered morote gari by the way dissimilar to his single leg his striking uh his takedowns the way he handles his opponents take their drive and momentum in order to do a takedown is far different here uh even his striking is a bit different than Khabib. I would argue he is uh, far more graceful in the octagon. Here, another Harai Goshi taking the opponent forward, not on the side or backwards. Uh, his striking is also very much calculated here, doing like a body triangle and the ground and pound. His kicks also different than Khabib. Here is the greatest throw ever. The Uchimata, the inner thigh reap with an overhook on the arm and let's check it out as a judo variations you have the nage no kata where you bring your f uh, opponent to you and as they are uh, coming in you sweep uh, the leg or the inner thigh and they fall in uchimata you can just stab your leg uh, straight through and lift them up that's also uchimata you can lift them with the hips and reap the inner thigh uh, afterwards that's also kind of like Uchimata. Uh, here you can like use your opponent's momentum as they are trying to defend in a Jigotai uh, position. You lift them up using their own momentum and still reaping with Uchimata. Um, again, uh, many different variations. Here is the Kenken Uchimata or the Hopping Uchimata. That works for someone that's specifically particularly heavier or taller you go on the outside and you hook the inner thigh and you start uh, hopping reaping it and falling taking them down here you can have like a pivoting uh, tobikomi uchimata which is just straight up one uh, step you spin out and using the momentum of the spin in order to take them down so that was Islam Makachev for you, a very graceful and promising fighter. I really like his style of uh, takedown, specifically that Harai Tsuri Komiyashi, uh, the underhook and the overhook uh, in order to get the takedown. See, no gi needed whatsoever, you just have to adjust your grips and any uh, takedown is possible, whether it is like a sweep ashiwaza, a hip technique, the Harai Goshi, uh, and also all the submissions minus the gi chokes obvious for obvious reasons so if you enjoyed this video please let me know down below uh, if you have anything else to add also share it uh, this was shady and thank you for listening